So now you know what I'm talking about. And welcome to my lair. And that won't happen if you're able to get the next product that we're gonna show. And welcome to my lair with this weird, creepy backlighting. Ooh, more better set for one of our other tales. But for today, it will be crazy and new toys that only rich people can afford, but we all wish we had. Hmm, don't you like that? I must have a few moments to get my thoughts together, but hello everyone. How we doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is just a incredible start to another incredibly magnificent week. I am always so excited to spend my time with you guys. I think I found some very interesting stories today about technology. We all wish we had the money to afford, but we can always dream, right? I think some of the best part of watching YouTube is we get to see some of the dreams we have uh, and who can enjoy them. Certainly not I, just a working man like yourself, but can definitely share them with you. I think today you're going to really find uh, the first one quite interesting. Uh, I believe this mode of transportation is uh, widely used more in uh, my Asian friends' lands than here, but super widely embraced and loved here as well. Today's first story is about the Harley Davidson Livewire. Uh, you may or may not have heard of this. If you want one, let me know. I'll hook you up. They're coming out in August. We can pre-order as many as we want here in the States. What the uh, live wire is, it is a 100% electric e-motorcycle. Yep, not an e-bike, not a hybrid. A true-to-life Harley-Davidson electric motorcycle. Pretty, isn't it? I, I liked it. It looks super badass. So it's, it's not your typical Harley Davidson motorcycle as you can see. It's built for a greener, more uh, eco-conscious generation. It is silent, so if you like that uh, padang, bang, ba 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 ba, nope, sorry, totally, totally green, all electric, so imagine, completely silent. Uh, has a max speed of 95, which I'm sure you speed demons will think is way too slow, but I'll be honest with you, today, if you can get a good 95 run in, you know what I mean, you're lucky. Uh, believe you get a 75 minute ride time at 95, so you have to figure on average, if you're doing between 50 and 60, you probably pull at least three hours of uh, ride time out of that battery. What I think many, many people will like, or maybe, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm too old fashioned, but it doesn't have a clutch. It's uh, automatic, so automatic shift. Anyone, can, anyone that can steer a bicycle can ride it. I'm used to every type of motorcycle I've ever ridden always having a manual clutch. So, you know, you have to have some dexterity this one is clutch, this one is brake, gas, you know, nope. Harley Davidson is thinking of you. You, the crowd that uh, enjoys amenities like touchscreen, yep, has touchscreen indicator in the middle. Different colors, but full uh, diagnostic. Uh, and if you happen to burn through an entire battery while you're hanging out, showing off to your friends, uh, only has a one hour charge time. Now I'm not quite sure how, uh, how the charging mechanism works. I don't know if you have to carry that with you. I can tell you there's no, there's absolutely no green charging stations here in the town I live in. We're still way backwards and love gasoline, but I mean, it has a you know, ridiculous uh, ratios. I think it does zero to 60 in like 2.2 seconds. So, I mean, if that ain't enough speed for you, I don't know what it is. 
In other words, if you're a motorcycle enthusiast, it does have quite the powerful burst speed that you enjoy. Uh, now, if you want one of these silent green killers, it will set you back only 30k. And like I said, if you are interested, leave your name and your information in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to do your pre-order because here in the States they're available to us at whim. I'm thinking outside the States you may have some issues getting them from your local dealership. It's launching in August. Not August so-and-so, August now, August 2019. So Harley will take your pre-order. I think it's a uh, thousand or fifteen hundred down US. So if you got it, you need any help, I'm here for you. Ah, uh, I'm not allowed to have one. I couldn't quite afford one. I'd probably start with something like a Honda Elite scooter instead. But I mean, you tell me. It's pretty badass. <laughs> Men, women, everyone's finding it easy to ride. It's the Harley Davidson brand. If you're a branded person, this is a toy for you. But let me know, if you had 30 grand, would it be on an E motorcycle? It is a Harley Davidson, so it'll probably only ever go up in value. But again, I don't know. I like toys that I could use and burn up hard. This thing looks like you need to treat it nice. And, uh, you know, first gen, anything electric, you're going to run into some kind of uh, issues or problems, but did you order one? I'm jealous either way, but let me know. 30,000 U.S. dollars. Holly Davidson, wings, get your wings on. The next story I think uh, you'll all love, right? It's something we all love. Think about that for a minute and we'll get to it. Oh, I'm looking a little red in this one. And that won't happen if you're able to get the next product that we're gonna show you. The next product that I'm gonna show you is something I told you we all love. It's that giant thing going crazy behind me. That's right, our televisions. This is the Samsung window. Never heard of it? Do you not follow CES? If you went to the Consumer Electronics Show 2019 on YouTube, I know you all follow YouTube stuff, you'd have seen this product. That's right, the Samsung Window, a 55 inch transparent television. So I could actually have it between me and you right now and the show behind me would be between us and be quite an interesting view. We could be watching TV together from both sides. Yep, it is a super duper state of the art, newly patented idea from Samsung. It is a 55 inch transparent display. Uh, they're thinking commercial uses like uh, public transportation, uh, commercial in buildings so it won't obstruct your views. So in other words, probably indoors not indoors, but inside of doors, actually. So you'll be able to see through the glass door, but at the same time, they'll be able to advertise their product or brand to you. They're also thinking it would be quite helpful in workspaces. So you know how you have to stare at a cubicle or you're in front of a beautiful window, but you have this ugly monitor right here in your face. Wouldn't it be cool if the monitor was completely clear and you could actually utilize that beautiful window in front of you. Now, it is only a concept idea, but it is patented, so therefore, I guess those of us with the elitist money uh, could probably uh, find one somewhere on that black market, uh, dark web, whatever uh, hand up you have on the rest of the public. But for now, the rest of us, we just have to wait with their picture concept TV and their frame concept TV which you know I'm pretty impressed with the frame I don't have one I don't have that kind of loot but if you haven't heard of it look it up the Samsung frame 
is a, I want to say, 60-inch television that looks like a regular picture frame, and when it's not a television that's on, like the beast behind me, it's actually an artwork. You can screen it for whatever you like, uh, Picasso, Gauguin, your kid's art, whatever you want it to be. So, I mean, that, that's pretty cool, but I believe the price tag on that is 11000 U.S. Now, this transparent TV, not yet for consumer consumption, but was at the Consumer Trade Electronics Show, so, I mean, don't put it there, Samsung, if you don't want us to have it. I mean, would I get one? Mm, probably. I, I'm not a slave to trends, but, I mean, people. Did you see this thing? Transparent TV? I mean, I like futuristic stuff. I like things at that level. And, and I can see the usefulness of it. I mean, I am a person that, you know, I would put a TV in front of a window, so maybe that's me. And I don't know. I don't think I'd have it as my desk monitor. I mean, you know, looking through to see the wall. And even here behind me, right? It doesn't make any sense. I have a theater closet area I built that's all black. If you could see through it, you'd just see the black wall behind it. So this, this technology suits me fine for now, Samsung. Thank you. I love my quality. But transparent TV? I mean, I have some giant sliding doors in the other room. Hmm. That would be interesting. Then when I have my dinner, instead of looking at the little one on the wall, I can just look at the beautiful outside and TV together. I, I like it, but you tell me, transparent TV in your future, priceless like it is currently, I don't know, you'd have to let us know. But we do have one more super cool, out of this world, of course water themed thing, and man, I live in Florida so I have to tell you, I, I definitely want this bad boy, but it's one bad expensive toy. Alright, we have one more Super cool summer toy. You know, I'm into beaches and water. I live here in Sandy, Florida. Uh, uh, words is just not enough for the next toy I want you to look at. Y you know what? Just just watch some of this video right here. Just, just watch and pay attention. This thing is super cool. So now you know what I'm talking about. The Gibbs Quad Ski. Beautiful toy, isn't it? Oh my god. Amphibious Quad. Yep. Just like you see. Super kick ass, fun, totally amphibious quad. For those of you that live around anywhere in the world, you know what a quad is. But imagine now, like you just saw, a quad that you could just ride right into the water. I mean, was that thing unbelievable? 45 miles per hour on the land, on the water, 75 uh, kilometers for those of you mostly everywhere else outside the U.S. It's uh, unbelievable. Four-stroke engine, uh, transforms in under five seconds. Uh, as you see, has incredible uh, capability of a proprietary type marine jet propulsion system with also a full spectrum full 100 percent steerable regular quad uh, rack and pinion setup very impressive uh, super fun I uh, would definitely have one if I could afford one 
Now, amphibious fun doesn't come at a low-key price. Uh, this bad boy that you see right here, fully loaded with everything you would want in the kick-ass color. I mean, as you can see, it comes in many wonderful colors. That, that will run you a mere uh, $40,000 American. I believe that's probably in the neighborhood of 48,000 euro. So it is, uh, you know, you can correct me on my conversion. It means nothing uh, as of the date of filming. But you figure somewhere around 50,000 euro, 40,000 American, you too could be riding this beautiful beast of the land and sea. Uh, I could see a lot of uh, beaches getting it as a rescue vehicle. I could see a lot of uh, wealthy people getting it as a toy for their kids. Uh, if you want to bestow one on me, uh, if you're from the wonderful Gibbs Corporation, I, I could check it out. Uh, I have beautiful Clearwater Beach right up the road from here, and I could put it through 100% of its paces, no doubt about it. Uh, I, I fully believe in your technology and, and I respect uh, what I see in all the ads and the other YouTube videos as I was researching this. Uh, I haven't seen one bad uh, review about it, uh, except for maybe the pocket crunch price. But again, the toys we review on this channel are for our future purchases, not our current purchases. For, for when we have that expendable cash that we would love to invest in a luxury item, just giving you some ideas. Gibbs, bravo to you. I could definitely see spending my money uh, with you people. Amphibious Quad, I mean, no brainer, but, but you made it happen. You made it come together. But let me know. See anything you like this week? I mean, I, I like everything. I would take my electric motorcycle uh, down to the beach where I jump on my amphibious quad and just, you know, spend the day having a good time with my transparent TV waiting on shore for when I get back. Uh, I, I can see uh, utilizing everything in today's video, uh, right? When you roll back up to the beach house, instead of staring out at the ocean, you could stare at the ocean and watch your favorite YouTuber's comment of the day. But you let me know, what was it? <laughs> unknown price for TV that I would probably pay $40,000 for Gibbs Ski Quad with proprietary technologies. Oh, I just love saying that if I can even say it on properly on time. And then of course, I mean, let's face it, who, who wouldn't want everything in the catalog that we presented today? I think, uh, I think it was a pretty well-rounded uh, tour of what's available if you have the current money. Electric motorcycle 30, quad ski 40, unknown TV mm, 20. Eh, I don't know. All in a day's dividends, right? I don't know. I'm about to watch a video that was uh, advertised next to mine earlier. Not advertised on mine because, you know, we're not up for that yet, but advertised next to mine, which is an interesting concept. Think about that. As your video is playing, they advertise something in this corner, this region up here outside with the other listed videos, but it's still advertising, right? Get my lawyer daughter on that one day. But, you know, they told me I can make a hundred grand sitting at home. I mean, shit, I'm working for thirds of that, going out, busting my ass every day. Anyway, y'all know how we do it. Comment, like, subscribe, love ya. See you in the next one. Maybe I'll stop kicking the video stand, huh? That would be good too. Try to be a little professional around here.